Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to identify the upper and lower extremes of box and whisker plots. So in order to generate a box and whiskers plot, we need a set of data, which needs to be ordered. So initially, if I'm given this set of numbers, of integers, I see that it is unordered, and I want to order it from the lowest integer to the highest number. So I identify 3 as the lowest number, so that comes first, and then I have 5, then 7, then 9, 11, 13, and finally 16. So the first thing I do is simply identify the extremes, in this case 3 and 16, as the lowest and highest numbers in that set, and then I want to identif identify the median, which is 9. So that's going to be the center of my box. And then I have to identify the quartiles on either side of the median. On the left-hand side, it's going to be 5. And on the right-hand side, the median for this set is 13. So I'm going to put little dots along the x-axis here on 5 and 13 respectively. And now I can construct my box and whiskers plot. So it's going to be a box that encompasses all numbers, including the quartiles, 5 and 13, and is going to be a line that goes down through the median 9. And then the whiskers will extend from the edges of the box to the extremes on either end. So, given this box and whiskers plot, we identify the extremes as the ends of the whiskers, and in this case, they are 3 and 16. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to identify the upper and lower extremes of box and whisker plots.